One of the newest members of the Los Angeles Lakers, Russell Westbrook, posted pictures of himself online wearing a skirt that was part of a photo shoot. Once the picture hit their internet, it seems like everyone had an opinion on Westbrook's clothing choice as a heterosexual male, including former NBA player Kwame Brown, who took to social media and had a lot to say. Today we have our comedy hype analyst, Vanessa Fraction and Pierre in the studio, with Capone calling in to talk about Brown's reaction. But first, let's take a look at this clip. Players for when they ran by white boys anyway. And I can speak about it, nigga, because when I played, I had to shut my mouth too. There's two ways you can go, nigga. You bite the apple and wear them motherfucking dresses like uh, Russell Westbrook or whatever the f his name is. I don't even want to say this nigga name no more. But this ain't this nigga first time in a dress. So I don't know why people so alarmed. This nigga been wearing dresses and weird ass shit. But see, like I told you, LBJ said, your leaders, they'll give them to you. And just because this nigga can jump high and play basketball, not nary nigga, not no Geechee nigga, not no nigga I ever was raised up with, going to be walking around the damn streets with a dress on and some motherfucking boots and get my respect and say he heterosexual. Now, if you gay, cool. My cousin gay. I don't give a I got gay girl, female cousins, male cousins. It, it don't matter about that. But when you say you a heterosexual male, and that's what you do, nigga, f you. And that's my opinion, nigga. Now, I think there's a lot to unpack there. I saw, <laughs> I saw the reactions here. I'm going to just let it be known. Pierre, I'm going to come to you. What, what was your reaction when you saw Kwame Brown's reaction to Russell Westbrook? He's doing what he has to do on this platform. What's, this, what's the nigga name? What's this nigga name again? Kwame Brown. Kwame Brown. He's doing what he wants to do. Talking about like you know you gotta be a, like his whole thing is to be a man. You gotta be a thug ass nigga from the hood, the hood, hood. Oh shut the f up, nigga. There's different mother f real men that ain't in the hood, nigga. Goofy ass motherfucker. Now dressing, wearing dresses you want to call. Do you know there was a time when women weren't allowed to wear pants? I don't know if y'all know that. There was a time when y'all were supposed to wear dresses and all. And he came and somebody wore pants, and now it's acceptable. So I call you, you mother dyke ass nigga wearing drip pants. Y'all got pants on? What you man ass mother with pants? No, I've accepted that. I've accepted you wearing pants. Now you might—it might be so long ago you don't remember, but there was a time you couldn't wear. I couldn't wear dresses. Okay. In church. Okay, okay. you I couldn't mean, wear. Pants so the guy, um, what's his name, Russell Russell, Russell Brook wearing that? If that's if that's his lane, he can do it. He ain't gonna make me wear a dress. So I don't give a damn what he got on. Flavor Flav wears a clock and shit, some goofy ass clock on his shit. I don't bother me. I don't give a f Some niggas wear pink. I don't give a f It's all about wearing about what this nigga wearing. He's wearing about what this nigga wearing and shit. I guess wearing a dress going all out automatically make it. If you're straight, you're going to become a homosexual. He's out of his rabbit ass mind. This nigga eh, talking loud like he does don't make you smarter, nigga. In the car, leaning over, talking and shit. Pay attention to the goddamn road, you crazy mother <laughs> Now, Capone, I hear you over there. I, I want you to chime in. What, what was your thoughts? I gotta agree with Pierre. Um, oh shit! <laughs> yes, I have to agree with Pierre. Um, why is he so worried about what this man is wearing? Clothes don't make nothing about a man. And um, I just Russell, Russell, what's his name? Russell Westbrook. Westbrook is rich. He's he's good in his skin. Like he said, it doesn't convince me to. Uh, wear no goddamn dress it doesn't convince me i wear what i want to wear and i feel mm -hmm. comfortable with whatever i wear if that that's his comfortability i mean ask the nigga do he listen to prince music i'm quite sure he listened to prince music and yeah. prince wear what the hell he wants to wear you never heard too much about that shit prince was a genius prince was this and that now you got this nas x he comes to the met with all these men carrying his gowns and different things of that nature it doesn't make who you are. I have more of a problem with a young boy like Nas X showing so much and they giving him so much love because he's showing all his feminine stuff. You know, if you gay, you gay. Happy for you. But to just be exploiting it every chance you get, uh, I, I can't agree with that. So yeah, it doesn't make you hard just because you have on suit and pants and it doesn't make Westbrook soft because he got on a dress. And I'm not a Westbrook fan. I, I think that that was clear. Now, when it comes to you, Vanessa, I want you to chime in, especially being a woman. What, what are your thoughts? 
Um, there were several things said, and I think he, uh, one of the things that Capone ended with was talking about exploiting being gay. And I think that that was speaking more to what Kwame was um, speaking on, because he was saying, if this is you naturally, wear the dress, you know, flaunt it, twirl around. I think you're playing a game. I think you're playing to, as he put it, the, uh, the white folks or the white men, I'm not sure, you know, whatever. Um, and I think that, um, well, me, what I caught from it was more of the authenticity. I think you're doing it for not because this is really what you like, but because this is what the people say you should do to gain more popularity or to whatever. You're not being your true self is what I guess he kept saying. Like if right. this is you and, and you're a uh, homosexual or what have you, fine. But you said you weren't and that you were heterosexual. So if you are, then you're supposed to look this certain way. And I think that's where we begin to have these conversations. What's of, of what's okay. There's a quote, isn't, isn't there a saying that clothing d does make the man? He said clothing does not. One of you said it, but there is a, a quote that, that says clothing makes the man or something like that. But I think, <laughs> and they're also posting lots of pictures of all kinds of men from wearing kilts to back in the day, British right. guys. And they even put- Who wear kid dresses, skirts all the time. Irish men. Yeah, that's what you're talking about. They were talking about pastors wearing robes and, and different things like that. Um, the point that I like, I guess, out of all the points is maybe what Pierre said was the fact that there was a time that women couldn't even wear pants. Right. And we're still having issues with the things that women can wear and cannot wear. So now that it's acceptable that you can kind of wear whatever you're comfortable with, why can't we be okay with that? You know what I mean? Right. If I don't like Lil Nas X, I didn't like Lil Nas X because he looked unattractive. Prince wear that stuff. I didn't care what sexuality he was. I wanted to kiss him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's, that's so as long as I'm attracted, you know what I'm saying, and you're attracting the kind of thing that you want, I think it's okay. I think, just to hit it again, I think Kwame's main point was that you're not really being yourself. You're conforming so that you can get a certain result. And you're not, that, that's right. what he was, you know. Right. Russell, if you know who Russell Westbrook is, he rocks that all the time. He, he rocks all kinds of things. That was flamboyant his, he was colors and about shirts and all that. So that's, he, he's a fashionable guy. He wears he all kinds of stuff. He wants to push the uh, envelope. envelope. So mm -hmm. he's pushing the envelope. So he's being him. So I don't know what uh, Kwame's talking about. This is what he does. But Kwame, my problem with Kwame says he has a dress on. He considers a dress. To him, it's not a kilt. It's not a fashion statement. Automatically, he's a homosexual. Cut all that out, bro. Even the thought press, cut it out. Just because you're wearing it, don't make you gay. The third yeah. thing is that, first of all, Vanessa made a very valuable, valuable point. That ain't Russell, he's not performing for no white man. If, if, if you look at the smartness, we're talking about it right now. And if you look at it, he's doing it for publicity. Whether. But that but that's his point. But that, that was Kwame's point. And the same with a lot of people, since we're in wonderful comedy hype, there are certain comedians that do certain things. This isn't the natural you. You do it so that I can get a certain result, whether it's a shock value joke. Cat Williams. Or, you think Cat Williams dressed like that? That's, that's a normal way niggas wear what Cat Williams wear? He wears some wild outlandish shit. Do you think that's how he normally I think dresses? He is. I think that's how he dresses. I don't, I don't, I don't, I haven't hung out him. with him outside of anything right. to know he's what, a he, guy. what he wears. But I do think that a lot of people are doing certain things for publicity, whether it's shaving your hair off, whether it's uh, uh, wearing a dress as a man, whether it's uh, 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 flaunting certain stuff. I think My that. My girl Erica Badu wears some crazy stuff at times. Yeah, and is all of that attention seeking? Is it okay to want attention? Yes, right. Is, the, is that the question? We're you know what I mean? We're in the business of eyes. I think, and we're I, in and the I, business of eyes. I think people are just maybe there's a to some people, and I think maybe like Kwame, there's a a line for them between of like what's what's the difference in being fashionable and then you know and then being exploitative right. of people's feelings when this isn't really who you are. I know certain people, I don't even think they're really gay. They just say they're gay right now or non-binary because that's what's popping right now. You right. know what I mean? I, I could easily say I'm non-binary. I just chose to marry a man. Right. And I may get a little bit more popularity saying that I go by certain pronouns or whatever because that's the it thing. And I think that that's more what he was speaking to is that so many people are jumping on bandwagons and stuff right. like that for publicity, for uh, a monetary gain for whatever, whatever, you know, to fit in, to conform. And the question is, is that okay? Right. Yeah, I think it's, as you see, it's, it's, it's a topic, it's like you said, Capone, we're talking about it, you know, and I think it's just going to continue to be a conversation as we, like you said, when women once weren't able to wear pants, it takes time. It's probably going to be one of those things that is a continuous conversation of, are, are we okay? ever going to reach a point? Are you okay with your dude pulling up in a, in a skirt, Symphony? Is that a, a fashion choice that you would like from your... Before we go, I just got one more thing to say. Go ahead. Why did it bring to the attention of Kwame? 
why did it come to his attention? Because from the first thing that came out of his mouth, I am one to keep my mouth shut. But it seemed he had a lot to say about this one. Mm. Well, he said he was going to keep when you're in the business, keeping your mouth shut as far as like, I'm not going to speak out and do the things that the the suits or the executives want me to do. Right. I'm just, I'd rather be quiet than, than be your puppet, yeah. I, I believe is what he was saying. And he's saying that Russell would rather have a, the, the hand up the right. butt. Well, it's, it's definitely a topic. I appreciate you all for chiming in. This you is, never this answer was, my yeah. question. You never answer my question, Symphony. Uh, you know, You're I, on I, a date. You've been asked on a date. He gets out the car. He has a skirt on. He's at your door with flowers. You know, I think... He's worth $22 million a year. Uh, <laughs> money has nothing to do with it. I'm going to close out there. I, I think everybody has their preference. To each his own, as my to grandma To own, exactly. To each his own. I think that's a great way to wrap up. I appreciate y'all for chiming in. As always, you heard from us. Now we want to hear from you in the comments below. For Comedy Hype News, I'm Symphony Thompson. Put it, put it in the comments. comments. Please put it in the comments. Please put it in the comments. <laughs> Symphony never answered me. Just know that. <laughs> what if it was a Louis Vuitton dress? <laughs> she said it, it wasn't the money. It ain't black on. There you go. Do you know the comedy culture? Play Comedy Hype, the game. Out now.